Well, welcome to 13 St. Luke's Place in Cambridge, New York. You can probably hear the birds singing in the background. It's a beautiful day, and I'm looking forward to showing you this gorgeous house. There's lots to see with the yard, the barn, and the chicken coop, but I'm going to start with the house because I don't want to take too long with you today, but I'm going to take you right inside and show you this beautiful home. Built in around 1890, we call it a Victor Victorian era home, and you'll see why when we go inside. This house has had a great deal done to it. What's left is the finishing touches, paint, maybe a little bit of plaster, but as you'll see, there's lots of original detail here. It's located in the historic village of Cambridge. If you're looking for a solid home with a slate roof, as you can see, beautiful hardwood floors, original tin ceilings, and lots of beautiful woodwork. And there's some pretty built-ins I'll show you in a minute. This could be the home for you. I'm going to go up to the ceiling so you can see. I don't know, there's maybe five or six rooms that have these beautiful tin ceilings, each in a different pattern. And uh, that was something that was done in Cambridge around the turn of the century. And I've taken you now right through the living room into what they call the middle room. And I'm going to take you on into the dining room. This may have been the original kitchen, but it's now the dining room. There's a door to the uh, side yard and plenty of room here for a table and chairs, cupboard, sideboard, but you also have this beautiful built-in butler's pantry. And as you can see, the beautiful hardwood floors and another tin ceiling. So around the back here, this is where the kitchen is. And it's not that big, but it's got everything that you need. Obviously the sink and cabinet there, this beautiful wall of built-ins. Boy, the way they used to build kitchens, you didn't need a whole lot of hanging wall cabinets when you had something like this in the kitchen. That doorway on the end is a beautiful pantry. And I'll show you around here. This doorway here goes to the back staircase up to the second floor, probably where the um, servants lived. This house very likely may have had servants. This was owned by the daughter of um, the people who built the Rice Mansion, very famous here in Cambridge. She married Frank Holden, and this was their home. So. I'm going to take you around here, show you the first floor bedroom, and then take you upstairs where we have several more bedrooms and a full bath. First floor bedroom is very convenient, but it could also be an office if you didn't need a first floor bedroom. This was a bedroom, and for a while, an older lady lived here, and there was a shower where there's now a closet, and there was also a sink and a toilet. Those have been removed. There was the sink there. The opening for the toilet is underneath the carpeting here, and that's where the pipes run up to the second floor. <clears throat> so that was removed. They didn't need it. They didn't want it. But if you needed a first floor bathroom, you could certainly reestablish that. Beautiful grates here, forced air heat for this home, and that is the cold air return, but they're just really pretty details. And I'm going to take you upstairs. You'll see this really pretty handrail here, all original. And at the top of the stairs, straight ahead, I may as well take you there, is the full bath. And this is all either original or reproduction in this bath with all the fixtures appropriate to the era of the house. This beautiful tin wainscoting here on the wall. Pretty porcelain sink. A little bit of a repair on the floor there. That door leads to a large room. Could be a bedroom. Currently it's a laundry room. And the toilet. And 
this beautiful clawfoot tub. See if you can see the, the feet there. All beautiful fixtures and what isn't original, as I think I said, is reproduction quality. They're very true to the uh, style and era of this house. They haven't remodeled it out of recognition. So if you're looking for something like this, it needs some finishing touches. There's wallpaper, there's floors that you might want to finish. There's paint to be done, but everything else has been taken care of. So this is a very nice, large bedroom. You'll see the rooms have a lot of nice light with the wavy glass in the windows and also with storm windows. The rooms have large closets. This one even has a built-in linen closet. And then I'll take you to a large bedroom up front here. Another very beautiful, bright room with plenty of space. Has a big closet over there in the corner and room for bookshelves or dressers. And then a tiny little room here that was likely a day nursery room for a crib or it would make a really nice office so these walls are down to the plaster and if you know anything about old homes plaster walls are great these just need a little bit of finishing and paint and they'll be good for years and years to come so um so that's the tour i hope you enjoyed looking at 13 st luke's place in cambridge new york it's uh, available for showing and it's available for sale. So please call us. I'd be happy to give you a tour, show you the grounds, the gardens, the chicken coop and the barn, as well as the interior of the home. Um, or call your agent and they can set you up for your own personal showing of this beautiful home. Okay, thanks again. Thanks for coming.